Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Rye Free Reading Room uh, uh, Tales for Tots program. My name is Granny Jean. Can you tell me your name? Wow. Oh, I'm hearing lots of names. Do I hear Emma? Oh, I think I hear Albie. Do I hear Albie? Al William, I know. Yeah. Well, I'm so glad you're back today, and I hope your uh, nannies and your mummies and daddies will uh, stay with us and, and sing along with us and drown me out, of course makes the program much more uh, beneficial to your children and much more interesting for them. So here we go. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. For your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Right. Well, what do I have here hanging on my board? It looks like an apron and it looks like someone's big stomach on the inside of them. Did you know that you have a stomach on the inside of you where all your food goes? Oh, well, this is kind of a funny song, but I love it. I love funny things. I know an old lady who swallowed a fly. I don't know why she swallowed a fly. Perhaps she'll cry. Put the fly up there. I know an old lady who swallowed a spider that wiggled and jiggled and tickled inside her. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly, but I don't know why she swallowed the fly. Perhaps she'll cry. I know an old lady who swallowed a bird. How absurd to swallow a bird. She swallowed the bird to catch the spider that wiggled and jiggled and tickled inside her. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly, but I don't know why she swallowed the fly. Perhaps she'll cry. I know an old lady who swallowed a, what is that, cat? Think of that, she swallowed a cat. She swallowed the cat to catch the bird. She swallowed the bird to catch the spider that wiggled and jiggled and tickled inside her. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly, but I don't know why she swallowed the fly. Perhaps she'll cry. I know an old lady who swallowed a dog. <coughs> what a hog, <coughs> excuse me, to swallow a dog. Oh. <coughs> she swallowed the dog to catch the cat. She swallowed the cat to catch the bird. She swallowed the bird to catch the spider that wiggle and jiggle and tickle inside her. <clears throat> she swallowed the spider to catch the fly, but I don't know why she swallowed the fly. Perhaps she'll cry. I think I would, <clears throat> don't you? <clears throat> I know an old lady who swallowed a goat oh, right down her throat. Where's your throat? Oh. She swallowed the goat to catch the dog. She swallowed the dog to catch the cat. She swallowed the cat to catch the bird. She swallowed the bird to catch the spider that wiggled and jiggled and tickled inside her. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly, but I don't know why she swallowed the fly. Perhaps she'll cry. I know an old lady who swallowed a cow. Ah, I don't know how she swallowed that cow. She swallowed the cow to catch the goat. She swallowed the goat to catch the dog. She swallowed the dog to catch the cat. She swallowed the cat to catch the bird. She swallowed the bird to catch the spider that wiggled and jiggled and tickled inside her. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly, but I don't know why she swallowed the fly. Perhaps she'll cry. I know an old lady who swallowed a horse. <laughs> My tummy hurts. <laughs> she cried, of course. Of course she did. What a silly song. I love silly songs. <coughs> well, <coughs> sorry. <coughs> there we go. <coughs> well, speaking of spiders, we all know this song, right? Can you pretend you have a little spider? 
Oh, the itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. So the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Come on, let's do that and pretend that's a great big spider. Oh, the great big spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. So the great big spider went up the spout again. Now they had a little baby. That little baby didn't make too much noise at first. So the itsy bitsy baby went up the spout again. Oh, wasn't that nice? That was a nice song to sing, something that we are familiar with, things that are familiar with us. Yeah. Well, Woodsy Wizard, before we start our, our book, has a tip for us. I sure do. This is an important tip. When we read to children, they are being exposed to the language of books. This helps children learn to read more easily once they go to school because the language of books is richer and uses more different words than the language of conversation. Also, books use more complicated sentences. So keep reading to your children even after they learn to read. Very important part of development. Well, do you have a set of blocks? Do you have blocks at your house? Hmm? I had a set of blocks when my children were small. I had a set of blocks when I was small. And a set of blocks, I also made blocks for my children out of boxes and covered them. And I would build with my children and they would build by themselves when they were old enough. <clears throat> And so I might make myself a little house like that. Hmm? You see my little house I built? My goodness. Let's see. What if I make a big, tall building? I think it's taller and taller and taller. Uh-oh. And taller. Uh-oh. And I think I'll build a city and make some other buildings. Look, I've made a city. Look at that. What do you think of that, huh? Uh-oh, here comes my baby. Does the baby know any better? No, Whoop. Oh my goodness. Baby, we have to teach you how to play with blocks. Yeah, we don't knock down someone else's building, do we? No, we don't. Well, I have a story today and it's called Bigger, Bigger, right? Bigger, Bigger, Tall. Oh, that's how when we build, things get bigger and bigger, right? <clears throat> and this little girl is pretending. There she is, bigger and bigger. She's building a big tower, isn't she? And this book is by Leslie Petroselli. And she has a hard hat on. That's what workmen wear when they uh, build in the city, uh, in, uh, in construction sites. And look at all those blocks. Do you have blocks like that? Well, we had those in nursery school. And there she is with her box of blocks. And she's gonna do a lot of building and pretending, bigger and bigger. Build, there she is. She's dump them out and she's got a dog and a cat that she's pretending that they're helping her. <clears throat> Big. Well, she built a house and she's pretending it's what? A dog house, look at that. Big. <gasps> bigger. She built a bigger house. Bigger, bigger, oh my goodness. 
that is the biggest house I've ever seen. One, two, three, four. More sets of stairs you have to climb to get up to the top. Oh, she's making a road away from the house. Look at that. I wonder what she's making the road out of, huh? Maybe get a set of blocks too. <clears throat> she's made a bridge. Bigger, bigger. And look at that. <clears throat> Wow, bigger, bigger. Oh, she's building a nice big building. That looks, doesn't look like a house, does it? It looks like an office building or a factory. Bigger, bigger. Oh, she really made a big one there. Didn't she? <clears throat> it's tall. Oh, biggest. Look at that. She's built a whole city. She's so proud of all her buildings. Boom, boom, boom. Uh oh, what's coming? <coughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Crash. Oh, her baby. Her baby came and walked right into it. Oh, no. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I built it. I spent so long building it and baby doesn't understand. No, babies don't understand, do they? And he's so happy that he, that he crashed it down. That was so much fun. But then he sees his sister sad. So he said too, he didn't know he did something <clears throat> that made her unhappy. <clears throat> so the little baby is getting stronger and stronger. And so little sister is growing up a bit too. And she gives him the, the construction hat and he's helping her build her city all over again. Look at that. Yeah, <clears throat> there. She's teaching her baby sister or brother how to cooperate and work together. Oh, fun. How fun is that? <clears throat> <clears throat> Well, we have gardens that are blooming with beautiful flowers, right? Roses. <coughs> oh, I'm so sorry. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Roses are red and violets are blue. Sugar is sweet and so are you. <coughs> <coughs> Roses are red and violets are blue. Sugar is sweet and so are you. Can you blow a kiss? Do you know how to blow a kiss? Roses are red and violets are blue. Sugar is sweet, but it's not good for you. Not too much anyway, right? Not too much. Well, <clears throat> when our shoes get uh, are broken and they come apart, we have to go to the shoe doctor and he's called a cobbler, a cobbler. And he works on a workbench, right? Right. And here is a weasel. He's a, a little animal that lives in the forest. <coughs> and here is what? The mischievous monkey, right? So here we go. Oh, and when I say pop goes the weasel, you can pop up. Can you jump up when we do that? Let's see. All around the cobbler's bench, the monkey chased the weasel. The monkey thought the ball was fun. Pop goes the weasel. Penny for a spool of thread and a penny for a needle. That's the way the money goes. Pop, pop goes the weasel. Oh, sorry about this. This voice of mine. <coughs> there we go. All around the cobbler's bench, the monkey chased the weasel. The monkey thought was all in fun. Pop goes the weasel. Penny for a spool of thread and a penny for a needle. That's the way the money goes. Pop goes the weasel. Oh, monkey, you are. 
just a tease. You're just a tease. That's not very nice. Well, some countries have different um, uh, monies. We don't have, they don't have dollars or, or, or quarters or cents or pennies. But this is, a, this, is a, this is an English, old English piece of money. And it's called a crown. It's a little crown on it. See the crown? Made of gold. Cobbler, cobbler, mend my shoe. I'll have it done by half past two. Half past two? That's much too late. I'll have it done by half past eight. I'll stitch it up and stitch it down. And I'll pay you half a crown. So here we go. You tell me where up and down are when we do this, okay? Cobbler, cobbler, mend my shoe. I'll have it done by half past two. Half past two, that's much too late. I'll have it done by half past eight. I'll stitch it up and I'll stitch it down. And I'll pay you half a crown. You'll give me some change back, right? <clears throat> well, this book I love and it's by Eric Carr. Today is Monday. <clears throat> and, and today really isn't Monday, but it's Tuesday, the next day. But today is Monday by Eric Carl. And it is, it can be a song too. So let's sing the song. And uh, it's not exactly the same as the book, but it's one that we did in nursery school that I loved. Now, I don't see a fly or a goat or a dog or a cat on that plate, do you? No, we don't eat things like that. No, we don't. We eat what good vegetables and, and good meat, right? Oh, what is that? A porcupine. Today is Monday, today is Monday. Monday green beans, all you hungry children, come and eat it up. Today is Tuesday, today is Tuesday. Tuesday spaghetti, Monday string beans, all you hungry children. Come and eat it up. Today is Wednesday. Today day is Wednesday. Wednesday zoo. Tuesday spaghetti. Monday string beans. All your hungry children. Come and eat it up. Today is Thursday. Today is Thursday. Thursday roast beef. Wednesday zoo. Tuesday spaghetti, Monday string beans, all you hungry children, come and eat it up. Today is Friday, today is Friday, Friday fresh fish, Thursday roast beef, Wednesday soup, Tuesday spaghetti, Monday string beans, all you hungry children, come and eat it up. Today is Saturday, today is Saturday, Saturday chicken, Friday fresh fish, <coughs> Thursday roast beef, Wednesday zoo, Tuesday spaghetti, Monday spring beans, all your hunger children, come and eat it up. Today is Sunday, today is Sunday, Sunday ice cream, Saturday chicken, Friday fresh fish, Thursday roast beef, Wednesday soup, <clears throat> Tuesday spaghetti, Monday string beans, all your hungry children come and eat it up. And there's a parrot saying, all your hungry children come and eat it up. Right. And there they are, there they are eating their vegetables <clears throat> and their meat and all the things that are good for them. <clears throat> well, <clears throat> what kind of little bugs have you seen outside? Huh? Have you seen a ladybug? They're so good for our gardens. They eat them, the pesty, the pesty uh, aphids that <clears throat> ruin our roses, yes. Oh Lord, I'm kind of, there we go. 
ladybug, ladybug, fly away home. Oh, your house is on fire. Your children are gone. All except one, and that's little Anne. And she had crept under the warming pan. She is safe. This much I know. Or she went where mommy told her to go. So here we go. Now over in England, she's called a lady, lady bird. Lady bird, lady bird, fly away home. Your house is on fire. Your children are gone. Except one, and that is little Anne. And she had crept under the warming pan. She is safe. This much I know. Or she went where her mommy told her to go. She listened to directions. Very important to be safe. To listen to directions. <clears throat> Well, my goodness, let's take old cobbler away <clears throat> and let's put our garden back up, which I was supposed to do last week and I forgot all about it. Remember when I said the potatoes had eyes? All those little dimples on potatoes are called eyes, right? Poor potatoes underground never get to look around, never get to a chance to see butterfly or bumblebee. Poor potatoes never look at the fishes in the brook. Never see the sunny skies. What a waste of all those eyes. There they are down underground. I can't see a thing. <laughs> now what are potato eyes? Here's a, a red potato. And you can see those little, little dimples on them. Huh? Those are called eyes. And if you cut that potato up and it has an eye in it and put it in the ground, you'll have a whole new plant with lots of little potatoes. Yes, you will. <clears throat> Poor potatoes underground never get to look around, never get a chance to see butterfly or bumblebee. Poor potatoes never look at the fishes in the brook, never see the sunny skies. What a waste of all those eyes. That poem is by Jack Krolutsky. <clears throat> well, let's see. If we lived in a, on a farm, we would have hens. Some of the hens would lay eggs for us to eat. And some of them would have chicks inside, right? Five Little Chicks by Nancy Tafuri. So who's the mama? The hen, right? The hen is the mama. And where do the chicks come from? I think they came from those eggs that she's keeping warm. She sits on those eggs for about 23 days. Five little chicks. Should we count? One, two, three, four, five. <clears throat> those are five eggs, right? Ones. <clears throat> there were. What's coming out of the shell? Five little chicks. One, two, three, four, five. All brand new. <gasps> Said the first little chick, peep, what can I eat? And with a little squirm, spied a fat wiggly worm. <clears throat> said the second little chick, peep, what can we eat? <clears throat> and with a little shrug, found a spotted crawly bug. <laughs> said the third little chick, peep, what can we eat? <clears throat> and with a little sigh, saw a fuzzy butterfly. Said the fourth little chick, peep, what can we eat? And with a little worry, spotted a plump red strawberry. Said the fifth little chick, 
Peep. What can we eat? Oh. And with a little pout, saw a long, shiny trout. What is a trout? What do you think it is? That's right, it's a fish. But what's the mama doing? She's coming to get her baby. No, though, that's not what we eat. <clears throat> but with wise mama hen knew just what to do. Let's run to the patch. <laughs> And scratch. And little, little chickens, they scratch and scratch up the corn. <clears throat> so all five chicks went scratch, 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 scratch. <clears throat> and pecked with their mama all day in the corn patch. She put a lot of seeds there. Well, until wise mama hen said, let's not make a peep. It's time to snuggle and cuddle and sleep. Oh, 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 oh. I had chickens a long time ago when I was a little girl. And that's what they sounded like when they were going to bed. Oh, 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 oh. It sort of talked to each other a bit. <coughs> well. Can you play Ring Around the Rosie? Huh? Can you turn around and then fall down? Huh? Let's see. Uh, ring around the rosy, a pocket full of posies. Ashes, ashes, we all fall down. Cows are in the meadow eating buttercups. Oh, oh, lightning, thunder. Oh, jump up. Did you jump up? <clears throat> Let's do that again, shall we? Ring around the rosy, a pocket full of posies. Ashes, ashes, we all fall down. Cows are in the meadow eating buttercups. <gasps> Lightning, <clears throat> thunder. <clears throat> oh, jump up. <laughs> That's kind of a fun game when you're playing with your friends. Mm -hmm. When you're a little bit older, maybe. <clears throat> Well, like all good things, the night comes and it's time to rest, right? What happens? The fireflies are out. Most of us are probably in bed by then. Right? Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Can we do that? Huh? Can you pretend you have stars that are twinkling? Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Wasn't that pretty? Huh? I love that song. Do you like to saw, sing songs too? Hmm? Mommy sing songs with you? I hope so. I hope so. Well, I think it's time to say goodbye. So we'll say goodbye to our ladybug, huh? Bye-bye to little Miss Ladybug and bye-bye to the cobbler too. And bye-bye to the fish that swim in the brook. It's time to say goodbye. And goodbye to that mischievous monkey. And bye-bye to that little baby who doesn't know any better. And bye-bye to the old lady who ate too much. It's time to say goodbye. And bye-bye to all my friends. Thank you for coming today. 
Hope to see you next week. And remember, you can watch us anytime. Any of the programs are all there to, uh, together on uh, YouTube. So bye-bye. We'll see you next week. <laughs>